Okay, another quick tip for staying creative, this time all about the ADDR sequencer we all know and love. It has a really interesting feature in the right click menu, the triggered select mode. When this is activated, we can use triggers and gates to advance the sequence by a step. And let me show you what I mean by that. I have here a five step sequence. This is sequencing the FM operator through some delay. Right, and now when I send, for example, a divided clock error, a clock divided by four, this will go to the CV input. Right, now I can choose how many times the sequence will advance one step with every clock. So now it starts, the sequence starts on step one. With the next clock, it can start on step two. And then another clock, it will start on step three and we'll still have one, two, three, four, five steps. Right, so. Um, I can select how many times it will do this with a select um, knob if it sets to if it's set to two. Right. Right. So once it will start from step one, and once it will start from start from step two, and so on. If I set it to three, for example, it will start from one, two, or three again with each clock. Listen to this interesting sequence that we are getting. Of course, you don't have to use a clock division. You can use also other sequencers. So here I have a Euclidean sequencer, the one from Count Modula, and I'm going to use it to trigger this uh, CV input. Right, so again, now with each trigger coming from, in this case, the Euclidean sequencer, the ADDR sequencer will move one step forward and will start the five-step sequence from there. 